falling off, everyone. So there's nothing about your parents' generation that you would like to incorporate into yeah. your life? Yeah, relationship longevity. I think like with my grandma and grandpa, they were together. I mean, grandparents, everyone had grandparents that were together forever and ever. And nowadays, just like, I'm with this person for a couple, maybe six or seven years, like that's the longest I've heard people, or maybe 10 at the most, or I was with them when I was in junior high. Other than that, no, they don't last long anymore. Why do you think that could be? Um, that I talked to some guy yesterday at my job, and he was saying that our generation's not, he actually said the word stupid, <laughs> because. What? Yeah, he gave a good example that I'm, it's probably gonna stick with me for a long time, but he says with toothpaste, like for example, let's say we go to the, in the bathroom, and let's say your boyfriend or significant other, husband or whatever you have, um, let's say they don't like the toothpaste top on, but you like the toothpaste top on. And he said, you'll sit there and argue instead of buying another toothpaste having two toothpaste and to me it just hit hard I was like duh because I was I don't know why I wouldn't think to get another toothpaste I don't know why isn't that deep <laughs> I don't know why that's deep but that is just so stupid because I was sitting there thinking like I don't know I wouldn't think to get two toothpastes we would sit there and argue over that one toothpaste so you think your your, your grandparents would have gotten two toothpaste huh <laughs> No, they would have cussed each other out, but they still would have been together. We're talking about now, because now divorces and leaving someone is just so easy. But back in the day, they'll stick with each other forever. Uh, why do you think they stuck together so long? Because it was quite harder back in the day. Well, I'm t are you talking specifically for African Americans, or are we talking about in general? Um, in well, general. In general, I'm pretty sure even any nationality was probably harder for them at that time. Like... You needed another person to grow, or another person to to build something with. Like uh -huh. even in Italian families, like how they have all those pizzerias. You know, they needed they need the woman and the man. I'm pretty sure they stuck together. They stuck it through to build that business. Or the woman would stay home with the you know the kids while he ran the pizzeria, or. You know, I think it's every race. They needed each other. And nowadays, it's like, we're independent women, and I and D E P. you know, they have songs about independent women. It's just, you don't need. It's society. Yeah, nowadays, it's totally different. Oh, uh, I see. I see. Any more projects for 2008? Mm -hmm. Just gonna keep that court reporting. Uh, You're... In court reporting. Okay, you're going to school for court reporting? Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep it court reporting. I'm actually going to finish something I started because I hardly ever do. <laughs> well, let me ask you this, speaking of court reporting, because I'm sure most people see your uh, ooh, uh, uh, videos. It would be hard to imagine you, Toby, sitting in a courtroom calm and collected doing court report. You think you could handle that? Yeah, if you're getting paid, I mean, you have to still, this, that's what I, that's my job. It's not, people don't enjoy their jobs all the time. You know, it's not something that I want to do forever. It's like, it's not my passion, but it's what you do so that you can survive. If you want to sit, you know, pretty and not have to struggle, or if you plan on having a family, you have to have type of stability. My passion is acting, you know, my passion is writing or things like that. Do you have any advice for um, those younger than you coming up, um, coming out of high school? Uh, any advice? Yes. Because you do have a lot of followers that are quite young. Whatever you do, don't be too sensitive. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve. Because I did, but I was the only child. So I wasn't used to people capping, <laughs> you know, or because I was all about myself. I didn't really you know, have 
a significant other to sisters and brothers. Exactly. I'm sorry, sisters and brothers to cap on me or you know or right, tease right. me. So when I got to school, I'm like, dang, I'm not used to this, and I was sensitive. And hey, I stood up for myself, and that's probably why I had drama. That's just how it is. So you can't be sensitive. You have to brush stuff off. You know, get the dirt off your shoulder, like Jay Z said. Hey, you have to know you're fabulous inside, and that's it. As long as you like yourself, which it sounds corny, but it's true. That's very true. It's really true. Very true. And whatever they say, do good in high school, okay? Because high school follows you the rest of your life. Even if you're six or seven years old, you still gonna remember what you did in high school or how the road could have been different. I always tell kids, you know, please go to college and please join, you know, join something, some type of group or even a sorority. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? I could have been done by it. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, so is there anyone you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank Cat Williams. Cat Williams? Cat Williams, the um, actor. I mean, excuse me, well, he is an actor, but he's an actor and comedian. And people are probably like, why do you want to thank him? And why but do you want to thank him? I want to thank him because he's got the, the funniest stand up. I think he should get comedian of the year because he's hilarious. But when he said, you know, feel free to hate on me and always thank your haters, he was putting you on some real game because everyone does, everyone needs haters, is the truth. And if you have one hater, you should try to work your way up to four because people are gonna hate on you and that just helps, haters help you grow. And if they hate on you, you're doing something right. And I wanna thank him because that sticks with me. I don't know why that line just sticks with me. It wasn't just funny to me, I took it seriously. Like that whole stand up was just funny. Really? The Pimp Chronicles. <laughs> Now I hear that you're considering going to the California, the Hollywood YouTube gathering. Can the viewers look forward to seeing you there? Maybe no. getting No. <laughs> I don't know if I can get there. I don't I honestly don't know because I have work and I'll be back in school. I don't know, but maybe. I'll maybe. Say maybe. And they can maybe get an autograph or something. Autograph I'm not famous. You're a YouTube famous. Not really. Oh, okay. I'm not the judgment for someone, you know, with 500,000 viewers are featured. So, oh. I'll be there to support, though. You will be there. If I'm there, I'll be there to support. And then maybe. And see some of my favorites. Oh. Anything else you want to say to, to your viewers? And... Yes, 2008 I'll be back and this was boring. I'm pretty sure it was. But <laughs> I'll be back in action in 2008 with some new goodies for the YouTube. Will you still be going the same direction with your videos? I have no idea. Who knows? Who knows what 2008 might bring or what crazy people, crazy things people would do. Oh. Well, I want to thank you for this interview, and uh, you're looking great. Um, life must be treating you pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Bye. Bye.